David Dooley awaits his second chance at freedom. He was convicted of killing Michelle Mockby in May of 2012. Among the most compelling reasons for the conviction, he left the scene of the murder at the Thermo Fisher warehouse, then came back. The defendant, David Dooley, did he ever tell you that he had left the building that day? No, he did not. Did he ever tell you that he had gone home and changed his clothes? No, he did not. But there was no physical evidence, no DNA tying Dooley to the murder. There was never a clear motive. He was sentenced and sent to prison. And then the contents of a flash drive were made public. They were from the office of the now former Commonwealth attorney, Linda Talley Smith. They revealed a relationship between her and the lead detective, Bruce McVeigh, and more troubling, information about an unidentified person seen on a security camera video outside the warehouse the day before. He's texting me about raccoons, and then there's others about deer that you see walking on the video, but he didn't tell me about the man he saw on the video that I wasn't aware of. That pissed me off. Also on the flash drive was a note Tally Smith wrote, but never sent to McVeigh, indicating she knew it was all a problem. And I get to live with the worry that something, someone on the defense side will find it at some point, and that we'll all wind up in trouble over it, and the entire case will be tainted because of it. Judge J.R. Schrand ruled the defense should have had access to that security video, but didn't, and Dooley got a second trial. Now, a special prosecutor has been assigned to this case. Linda Talley Smith was voted out of office in November. McVeigh retired after that first trial, but both are expected to be called in this trial. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian.